All right. We've saved the biggest economic stat of the day for right now, the cost of Thanksgiving dinner. It's at its actual lowest point since 2010, the cost of Thanksgiving dinner on average, $48.90. That's the good news. The not so good news is for your waistline. Average Americans expect to consume nearly 4,500 calories tomorrow. 4,500 calories tomorrow. So Tony Little joins us now, the uh, TV fitness personality. And are you going to... Are you going to tell us that's a problem, Tony, or is it just okay? Come on, it's one day a year, and we can just eat like, uh, you know, we're going to the electric chair. I think you, I think you should accept it as carb day. Yeah, right. right? Uh, you know, it's Thanksgiving. It's with it's your family. It's with your friends. It's a, it's one day. Uh, you know, last year I was talking about, you know, your body's your temple. Five days a week you treat it as a temple, two days a week an amusement center. Yeah. Uh, you, ha you have to have a break, you know? And, it, and, and so I don't think it's going to bother anybody. I don't think one day is going to do it. I do think that if you're a fitness person, you know, you're a, a true fitness person, you get a little worried about it. Yeah. Well, then work out in the morning. And oh, so many people do that, right? It's funny. I actually, not, not to brag about my own fitness, but I did go to the gym this morning, and there was little, there was nobody there. And the guy says to me, he goes, "Well, tomorrow it'll be packed because people they want to make themselves <laughs> feel better." He's like, "There'll be people here at six o'clock in the morning working out for three hours just so they could eat like you know like crazy." Yeah, but you know what it is? It's a, it ends up being binge eating. You know, yeah. a lot of people fast, fast all day long just so they can eat the big meal. <laughs> and I just say, and, and so I'm like, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Those calories are not going to make a difference on your body for one day. Well, how They're about not. this? You can make people feel better because we can say, all right, let's enjoy tomorrow. We'll all do that. We'll eat uh, everything that's on the plate. We'll eat two or three portions and everything else. But then Friday and Saturday, we have to get back to quote unquote normal. Or if we haven't been eating well, we have to do better. So what's the big Tony little advice for people who are going to gorge tomorrow? What should they do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Well, you know, they should get back on their routine or, you know, they still can relax another day. You know, it, it's <laughs> fact it is. Is we're all, a lot of people. Hey, so many people are stressed out. You know, you, it's a time to de-stress yourself, you know, get your mental uh, mind together and everything like that. And when you decide to go back to fitness or anything like that, it always makes you a workout always makes you feel better. Right. right? Eating better always makes you feel better. But there <laughs> are our holidays and we got to take advantage of them. You know, I always want uh, people have different kind of views on this, but like you're right. If you work out, it always makes you feel better. But if you don't eat well, it's almost like pointless to work out, right? So what's the balance in your view between what's more important, diet versus, um, versus exercise? Well, I, I can tell you as you get older, because I'm about 21 years older than you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. The most important thing you can do is keep your muscle up. 